Hello, my name is Alex Bell. I'm Head of Strategy for the Scottish Government in Edinburgh. Welcome um, to Water Week. Can you show us your card, please? I can indeed. Thank you. Thank you. And what brings you to World Water Week this year? Uh, well, we're very excited uh, to be here. The Scottish Government is, of course, bidding for the World Water Forum in 2015. Uh, our bid is very much based on the idea that we have fantastic dialogue within our community, but we've got to get that message out. Thus, the slogan of our bid is uh, Water Without Boundaries. And um, what we mean by that is that it's not about uh, nation states, it's not even about international organizations, it's about the people, it's about communicating very simple messages, and that's actually what is going to change this debate for the better. Um, but we're very lucky in Scotland, we have a lot of water. And, and our issue is actually, in terms of adapting to climate change, is about uh, flooding. But uh, we've decided that um, being one of the nations blessed with water, that confers a responsibility upon us, a responsibility to act and behave in a way which is as a good global citizen. So we are in the process of uh, tabling new legislation which will demand upon the water sector in Scotland that it provides the greenest and some of the cleanest water in the world. And we hope that by setting us that ourselves that challenge, we will develop techniques and skills which can be of use around the world. We and have, how are you planning on, on creating that greener environment in Scotland? Well, we're very much focused on the green economy in general. We've set the world's uh, leading climate change targets. Uh, we're developing a renewables energy sector which should make us self-sufficient by 2020. Uh, the intention there being is that we will then export that green energy to those people who need it. And in terms of water, it is about taking something which in Scotland is very much taken for granted and putting it centre place and saying to every citizen, we take this for granted and we regard it as a, a natural gift, but this is actually the fundamental thing of human dignity and human rights. And therefore, if we have concern for the world, which we do, we have to treat it with that respect now. And so we will be setting new demanding targets on our water treatment plants, on how businesses use water, on water cleansing, uh, to the point where, as I say, it is our hope in the near future that we can make a proud declaration that we have the greenest and some of the cleanest water in the world. Mm. Thank you so much for taking time to share that information with us here in Stockholm today. Thank you very much. And I should, of course, uh, tell yes. people that we have mastered the art of virtual water in that we export huge amounts of water in the form of whiskey. And for anyone who wishes to come to Scotland, I'm sure we can provide a bottle for you too. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's good to meet you today. Thank you.